It's a show that's been on fire since the beginning right here on ABC. Station 19 is coming to an end after its seventh season. Joining us now to talk about this week's season premiere is Jaina Lee Ortiz, who plays Andy Herrera, and Jason George, who plays Ben Warren. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you Thanks feeling? for that accent on the Herrera. Right, okay. Yeah. Listen, I had I had to get it in there. Well, oh, props. <laughs> thank you. Well, the end of season six was like an adult prom. So a full blown delicious hot mess with fighting, inappropriate makeout sessions, betrayals, and more. So there's a lot going on. What can you tell us as we start the new season? Everybody dies. Right. <laughs> 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 and that's a wrap on Station 19. Well, thanks and then, for joining there us. There it is. <laughs> Flames. We, uh, we do pick up the season right from that spot. So if everybody who was uh, hanging on that cliffhanger, we're going to get, get you right. We're going to show you uh, the outcomes, which I'm not sure you're going to, I don't know how happy some of the fans are going to be about it, but uh, you're going to feel something. And so it's, uh, it, it, we, we start off with a bang. And we finally get to see Andy as captain mm -hmm. yeah. in Ooh. charge. In full effect, bossing I mean, everybody around. Yeah. Oh, we love that. Wait, I mean, you, you just you just referenced that. You know, Andy's finally going to be captain of the of Station 19. What do you think her father, the late Captain Pruitt Herrera, would have, would have to say about it all? Oh, so proud. I think he'd be so proud, but he'd also be like, "Mija, you know, you you should know better. Come on, why would you make this decision?" I, I mean, yeah, it's it's sweet. I feel like she's definitely gonna carry on his legacy and. Yeah, and hopefully, I don't know, balance that that being in a position of power with your friends and who are ultimately your family, that's, that's also very tough. So I think she's going to try and navigate that <laughs> situation. Um, but it's, you know, it makes for great TV, um, obviously. <laughs> like, I'm watching the... The flashbacks. Oh, it looks so good. I want. We want to spoil so many things for you, but we <laughs> right. can't. <laughs> oh, yeah, keep, we watch this going. Oh, you're gonna like that. Oh, you're gonna oh, like this scene. Oh, this scene. Oh, this. Oh, is... that's gonna bring tears. You're gonna. You're oh gonna... yeah. You may cry. I mean, you may. You may re respond every way. You know, when you watch every episode, you laugh, you cry, you yeah. feel everything all at once. Yeah. We we definitely think our exec producer Teresa will cry. She's yeah. she's been heavily she's heavily fan. invested, yeah. massive fan <laughs> from day one. Uh -huh. From day one. Teresa sounds like uh, our one of our showrunners, Peter Page, has cried at every table read of the show that we've done. This <laughs> season. Uh, That's Teresa. A running. It's great. It's great though that. Numbers, we'll exchange like emails and be great. Yeah, and it's great. I mean, it, you know, it means that you're you're making an impact. But uh, Jason, your character Ben helped deliver a baby at the end of last season. So, do you feel prepared to do that in real life? <laughs> Look, I, uh, I I I I kind of do. I kind of do. I have three kids, and uh, this is the thing about me. They tell you that uh, when you know my wife had a C-section, not to get too great, but they tell dads get out of here, go behind the curtain. You're not allowed to watch because dads fall out. And I was like. I play a doctor on TV. I'm good, <laughs> and I was. And so, it was, and they were like, "Okay, you did well." And I was like, "Well, oh, you know, I've delivered more than a couple babies in make-believe land." It really has given you the confidence to feel like you can be a oh, first responder, for, or at least respond for, for little things. Just right, for little right. things. So, like, because there, there's like other. I was on. I've been on planes where an emergency was needed, and I saw the flight attendant walk past. They said, "You know, we, is there a doctor on the plane? We need somebody." And she walked by my chair, stopped, and kind of glanced back. Oh. Uh -huh. And I was like, mm -hmm. uh -uh, no. <laughs> basically, you basically so, have the authority now to diagnose people in real life. Like, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that sounds like a broken ankle. When someone says, is there a doctor in the room? You're yeah. kind of like, uh, me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> so what can, what can fans expect? I mean, you've alluded to it. And I mean, I know you guys are desperate to share some stories, but can you give fans any indication of what they can expect from this final season? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> What can we give away without giving away too much? I think, uh, well, like we said, the fact that we get to actually close out this story the way we want to. So I think there will be some storylines that people are very pleased and uh, what they're hoping for. And then there'll be some storylines that will make you feel some kind of way uh, and, and, and frustrate you in all the best ways. Wow, I mean, they're really not yeah. going to give us anything, are they? They're not going to give us a thing. Well, we know it's your final season, so really quick, is there anything that you might miss from, from the show? I'm definitely, I feel like we're all going to miss the stories that we've been telling. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. you know, just to 
continue on and and we're gonna miss each other yeah i was I mean, just gonna say no. the stories uh-huh. are gonna end but our friendships aren't and exactly. i think that's that's the most special thing that we're gonna take it, away from this when you see those scenes in the beanery the kitchen where we're around the dining table mm. uh those are the best scenes for the cast to shoot and the worst scenes for the crew because they take forever because we're just so like this we're just talking time. non-stop and they gotta herd cats and they gotta get us to shut up so we can actually say the scripted lines because yeah. we're too busy having a good time. So mm-hmm. that is the part I'm going to miss, yeah. those scenes in particular, Yeah, because that's uh, that's the family. Well, guys, mm-hmm. thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, Teresa will obviously probably is in tears right now in the booth, <laughs> uh, but I'm sure all the fans are going to be uh, going to be enjoying the final season. So thank you for your time this morning. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for having it's us. Nice meeting you. Pleasure. Station 19's final season premieres this Thursday right here on Channel 13, and it all starts at 10 p.m. You can also stream it the next day on Hulu.